Hello and welcome to this week's Black History Month Trivia Facts. Today we're going to talk about two dancer choreographers. Arthur Mitchell, born March 27, 1934, is an African-American dancer and choreographer. Starting at age 12, Mitchell had to raise his three other siblings. Mitchell lived in Harlem among street gangs, but this did not stop him from finding a way out of his neighborhood. He kept a good head on his shoulders and continued his studies. So he applied to the Selective High School of Performing Arts and got accepted. Once he graduated, he received a scholarship to attend the prestigious School of American Ballet, a school affiliated with the New York City Ballet. He was only the second African American with the New York City Ballet. In 1956, he rose to the position of principal dancer with the company. Mitchell was sensitive to the prejudice against blacks in the world of ballet and decided to form an all-black ba ballet company. He created the first African-American classical ballet company, the Dance Theater of Harlem. Misty Copeland is the first African-American female principal dancer with the American Ballet Theater. Born in Kansas City, Missouri and raised in St. Pedro, California, Misty Copeland began her ballet at 13. At 15, she won first place at the Music Center Spotlight Awards. She studied at the San Francisco Ballet School and was declared ABT's National Coca-Cola Scholar in 2000. Misty joined ABT Studio Company in 2000 and joined American Ballet Theater as number one of the Corpse du Ballet in April 2001. In June 2015, Misty was promoted to principal dancer, making her the first African American woman to ever be promoted to the position in the company's 75 year history. Misty has been featured in numerous publications and television programs, including CBS Sunday Morning, 60 Minutes, The Today Show, MSNBC's Melissa Harris Perry, Essence, Vogue, Ebony, and People Magazine. She was honored with an induction to the Boys and Girls Club National Hall of Fame in May 2012, and received the Breakthrough Award from the Council of Urban Professionals in 2012 of April. Misty's passion is giving back. She has worked with many charitable organizations that is dedicated to giving her time to work with and mentor young kids. In 2014, President Obama appointed Misty to the President's Council on Fitness, Sports, and Nutrition. This week's question is, who was the first African-American woman in space? Good luck. 